Hello, I'm Ted Joya, and I'm author of the book Delta Blues. In this book, I tell the story of an exciting and really a revolutionary type of music that came to light around a century ago in Mississippi, centering on the Delta region. I talk about artists such as Robert Johnson, Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf. Now, many of these became celebrities and household names, but also I found there were many musicians who lived lives really in obscurity, but still they left behind great music, and their lives are fascinating as well. They started a musical revolution, a revolution that eventually changed everything. Elvis Presley, Rolling Stones, The Beatles. What you found is this was the gateway by which the Delta Blues music entered the genetic code of all popular music. In fact, you'd be hard pressed today to find any recording that didn't show to some degree the influence of the blues. Now, one of the great things about writing this book was that the last chapter of the story is the best of all. And I can tell you that's very rare in writing a book on music that you have a happy ending. But in this instance, you've got this great moment where these Delta Blues musicians who had been forgotten and neglected for decades, all of a sudden, they become famous again. When people want, or really they hunger for, a music that isn't so packaged and commoditized and marketed, and they can turn to this music and they find in its authenticity, that it's in its depth, yet its simplicity, that it still speaks to them in a very real way. And for this reason, I believe that this music and the story behind it will be of interest to readers much as it was to me as I did my work in writing the story of the Delta Blues. Lord, I'm a call up I might see my baby.